Hey guys, it's Brooke with The Junk Parlor hopping on here for a little show and tell. I um, went on a quick run today. We were also looking for some clothes for my daughter who has grown out of everything. And of course, when we go out of town, I have to go to some junk stores as well. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I got just kind of as I'm unbagging it because after I get stuff, then it gets priced and cleaned and fixed up for one of my sales. So I have a sale every Sunday at 7 p.m. and Tuesday at noon over on Facebook if you ever wanna go watch. Um, and I walk you through the process to purchase, but it's super simple. And if you see something on here that you like as well, just leave me a comment and we'll see if I still have it. Okay, so this box I got at one um, shop, so we'll just go through it. This is a glo gloche, a cloche, basically a glass dome, and I'm not going to uncover it because I don't want to end up breaking it. If you guys have watched me very often, you know that it's not uncommon for me to try and drop stuff and break it. Next up, we've got this yellow um, ribbed bowl. And this one does have a mark on it. It's hard to see. It's got some kind of shield. So I'll have to look up that up. But I love bowls. And then we have this rolling pin. And it's got some um, patterns on it. So this is just kind of a little neat piece. And what? Those were used for pie crust maybe. Then we got this box with a bunch of collars in it. Super excited about these. Um, I just sold the last of my collars and I liked how these had this little feature on it. These look great underneath, underneath a cloche, so maybe I'll luck out and it'll actually fit underneath this one. I got some blocks because I have really been hard up for blocks, so I spent a little bit more than I normally would but I really needed some letters. So then we got this wooden tractor and the little wagon here. So that's super cute. It would be cute on somebody's table um, with some decor. And then I grabbed this little wooden train. I just liked him. So these were super cool because they have um, some animals on it. I got the ones that had cows and a bull, I think was one of them. So animals always do well for me. And then I got this scale and I was super excited to get it for $3.99. And then the girl's like, oh, but it has two price tags on it. We're selling it separate. I'm like, okay. So I didn't get quite as good a price on it. And this is probably, not probably, it is newer, but I really want to try the vinegar technique and see if that will age this. The other thing is I could always just spray paint it um, brass or black because a lot of scales I get actually have been painted black. And then I got this old scale bucket. It looks like it is brass and it has a nice base to it. It's kind of wonky, but I think that how it's kind of angled, this would be awesome on a table and you could fill it with all sorts of seasonal decor. And then, this is newer, it's just dirty and gross. And this um, came in a pile of stuff that I got. So it really wasn't from the pick um, where I got the rest of this stuff. But I thought that would look good in the center of a table, again, filled with stuff. Then I got these trivet sets and they just have cork. I thought they had felt on the bottom. Um, but see how they spin and then this would make a great base for a cloche um, and I'm always looking for that. Then, I never even looked at the back of this, photograver plate. But the other side is what I did see and it is awesome. So, newspaper plate, I'm guessing, with some advertising super cool piece. So it's fun to get things that not everybody else is going to have. And then pretty much everything else in here is papered. So let me take a minute and use two hands. If you like what you are seeing, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel. 
Okay, so I unboxed this stuff or unwrapped it with the newspaper. So I got this awesome pink bowl with um, like the basket weave pattern. And then this swan, I just loved the pink coloring on it. And so I grabbed that, great for spring. And then this cow is awesome. And so West Germany, grab that. I have a girl that collects Watkins things. So I grabbed a Watkins bottle. I think I've even sold her one of these, but I still always grab them in case she wants more for her collection. And then I got these salt and pepper shakers and look at the color. I mean, this color is totally me. I absolutely love them. They kind of have a stoneware vibe to them. And then we've got some calf kickers. Um, these are great to hang your wreaths from or a hand towel or anything. And so I pick those up whenever I can. And then this is not an ironstone pitcher, um, but it's got a lot of heavy weight to it and it's got a great shape. So this would be great in a collection um, of somebody who is doing white pitchers. Okay, you can see I got a great load. It was um, three stops and I didn't get a whole lot, but um, you know, you never are going to be able to predict what you're gonna be able to find when you're out picking. That's the fun of it, right? Going on the hunt.